We're in Epping Forest in Loughton and um, we're going to try and make our way to Fern Hill which is on the far side of the forest near Seawoodstone. Apparently it has wonderful views across the Lee Valley. I saw a talk last night by some forest rangers, Epping Forest Rangers at the Forest Area Residents Association annual general meeting so it's inspired me to come out into the forest today with my son there who hopefully is better at map reading than me because I do lose my way in the forest all the time which I quite I don't mind at all really So basically, one of the joys of walking in the forest is heavy rain recently and it's filled up the path and made this little impromptu set of ponds. Some waterscape has emerged in the forest. Yeah, look at that. These mossy pools of water. We've crossed Earl's Path and we're going to make our way up the hill towards Fern Hill. Very hilly walk this. We are so lucky to have this forest as London is bequeathed to us by the Corporation of London, the City of London. I think the Epic Forest Act is 1878 and as the forest rangers were telling us last night, if it hadn't been for the Epic Forest Act of 1878 probably this would all be built over by now. So it's a really precious bit of woodland right on the edge of London. I love it. It's a real refuge. It's uh, evidence here that we're entering into the area where you've got uh, grazing cattle in the forest. Very different terrain here. And as the forest rangers were explaining last night, the cattle have been reintroduced into the forest to help kind of uh, keep the grass down. And they're part of the natural ecology of Epping Forest. And unfortunately the herd it was here before was slaughtered during the uh, BSC crisis, the mad cow crisis, but now they've reintroduced them. But the cows, the grazing herds in the forest are part of the natural ecosystem of the forest. And they're sort of like a, they play a very important role anyway in maintaining grasslands and spreading seeds around. So I'm not 100% sure where we are. I think we're somewhere in this region here. We crossed Epping New Road. We went up here and then we turned off. We kind of drifted this way. So I think we're somewhere near the Cuckoo Pits, Pear Tree Plain, Blackbush Plain, the Cuckoo Pits and the Cuckoo Brook. And I think we're in this region here. But you know what? I love just wandering around in the forest. This map, by the way, is a Stanford's map from Epping Forest by Edward North Buxton. This was published, I think, in 1923. And so really, it's my favorite book about Epping Forest. It's got wonderful maps. And Edward North Buxton was from the famous Buxton family and uh, they lived in Leightonstone for a while, in Leightonstone House. And I've been writing about them recently in the book I've been working on. And this is the, uh, this is the perfect guide to Epping Forest. Epping Forest by Edward North Buxton. So 
this, I think, is the Cuckoo Brook. And I think now it might be a slight change of plan. And I think we might go down to Connaught Water and end up at Chingford Green. So I'm going to walk across this bit of open ground, a bit of grassland, after walking through the trees along that path. It's quite nice to walk across a bit of open ground in the forest. Hopefully encounter some cows. We've seen a few rabbits. And the rabbits really and the birds have been the only animals we've come across. So despite having an OS map in my Epping Forest Guidebook by Edward North Buxton, I still think the best way to enjoy the forest is just to roam really. Just to drift around and uh, keep the map in the bag and just see where you end up. So this beautiful old Tudor building is Queen Elizabeth's hunting lodge and uh, Buxton recounts a story with well, a popular legend that Elizabeth I used to uh, ride her hunting horse through the door and up the stairs to the top floor and where she would dismount at the top of the building. It's a nice story.